Good day, students. Welcome to government class, SS3. Last year, we ended with French colonial administration in West Africa. Today, we are going to consider colonialism as a topic. What is colonialism? Colonialism can be defined as an imposition of a more developed culture over a less developed one, backed up by expansionist and economic adventurism. The European capitalist countries extended their frontiers to other parts of the world to take charge of their economic potentials, political, cultural, and other aspects. They believed that their culture was superior to other cultures in other parts of the world, West Africa as an example. So they came, they imposed their political system on us, and they forced us to imbibe their culture. So colonialism came as a result of the quest to bring other countries in other parts of the world under the control of the colonial masters. Reasons for the European colonization of West Africa. Why did they come? Why did they colonize West Africa? Why did Britain colonize Nigeria? Number one, economic reason. The major reason that brought Europeans into West Africa or to West Africa was economic reason. To search for new markets for their finished products from their various companies in Europe. Number two, to extend their acclaimed rich culture to Africa. As I said, they believed that their culture or their cultures were superior to other cultures in other parts of the world. So to extend their culture to other parts of the world was another reason why they came to West Africa, Nigeria, as an example. Number three, to provide security for their traders, trade routes, and their workers. In those days, we had Europeans working in the colonies as staff. To give them adequate security was the reason why they came then to provide adequate security for the trade routes and traders as well. Another major reason why they came. Then number four, to put an end to slave trade. During the colonial era, there was slave trade in which the colonial traders came to West Africa to buy slaves. But when legitimate trade started, there was the need to put an end to slave trade for that legitimate trade, trade in farm produce to take place with full force. There was the need for slave trade to be abolished. So to make the abolition effective was the reason why they came to West Africa. Then number five, to find outlets for their surplus capital. European countries, especially though the countries that engaged in colonialism, had surplus capitals to be invested. So they thought it wise to come to West Africa for the investment. Then number six, to search for raw materials for their home industry. I have said that under the number one. They needed raw materials for their companies in Europe. So Africa was the target to get those raw materials. Then number seven, to acquire more colonies for their glory and prestige. In those days, one of those things that would enable a country like Britain to have respect from other countries was how much colonies Britain had at that time. So to acquire more colonies, to gain prestige, was one of the reasons why they came to West Africa. Then number eight, to find employment for displaced Europeans. There were some Europeans in Europe 
that were jobless. To fix them up was the reason why they came to West Africa. I said the other time that they had European workers working with colonial governments in West Africa. So to find jobs for those that were not fixed up in Europe was one of the reasons why they came. So these are some of the reasons why Europeans came to West Africa. Now we want to look at positive impact of colonial rule in West Africa. What are the benefits of colonialism in West Africa? Number one, it introduced modern system of government. Modern system of government was introduced. Before Europeans came, different kingdoms, emirates, practiced different systems of government. Kingship system, emirates, caliphate in the north, ship in Yoruba land, and some other parts of West Africa, Nigeria. So when they came, they introduced modern system of government under the umbrella of democracy. Before they are coming, there was nothing like elections in West Africa. They brought democracy that introduced elections in West Africa. Not only that, they introduced the use of organs of government, legislature for lawmaking, executive for execution of policies, then judiciary for interpretation of laws. So it introduced modern system of government. Number two, it brought about the creation of larger political units. Nigeria as an example, before they are coming, we had different countries in Nigeria. Yoruba stood as a nation on its own. Aousa Fulani stood as a nation on their own under the caliphate. The New Kingdom stood as a nation, as a country on its own. So the coming of the British officials was responsible for bringing all those nations together under one larger political unit called Nigeria. So it was an advantage. Then number three, number three, development of the civil service was another or is another positive impact of colonialism. So before they came, there was nothing like civil service. We have it at the federal level, we have it in all the states of the Federation. So they introduced civil service to buttress the introduction of democracy. All the ministries at Okemoso put together is referred to as the civil service. So it was that time that we, have, we got to know that there is something called civil service. And up to today, it works in our governments, both at the federal and the state level. Number four, development of political parties. Another advantage of colonialism or positive impact. Before the coming of the Europeans, there was nothing like political party or political parties in West Africa. Their coming brought about the establishment of political parties through the granting of elective principle by colonial governor who Clifford, and that is what we enjoy up to today. Then number five, introduction of money currency and development of banks. Money currency, and development of banks. In those days, we traded among ourselves, or our ancestors traded among themselves through trade by butter. It was as a result of the coming of the Europeans that enabled us to have paper money today, which makes it easier for us to transact businesses, unlike trade by butter that you used to carry what you have on your head, looking for the person with whom you are going to exchange such a product. 
So it has removed the distress. Up to today, we have paper money in our, in our community. Not only that, banks began to develop. And up to today, the nexus of banks in our country. Then, number six, establishment of trade relations between the colonies and their colonial masters. For example, the coming of British officials into Nigeria enabled Britain and Nigeria to be trade partners. Up to today, they are trade partners. Britain is one of the major uh, countries that trade with Nigeria. The same thing in French colonies of the day. France is the major trade partner with French colonies. Now that they have attained political independence, France too still maintains the same thing. Benin Republic and the rest. France trade with those countries and they maintain that trade relationship up till today. Then common language, common language. The coming of Europeans brought about the introduction of official language. Britain was lucky to have Nigeria, Ghana, Sierra Leone, and the Gambia, four colonies in West Africa. And today, those countries speak English language as their official language. Got the coming of the Europeans to, into Nigeria. Not only that, common legal system, another advantage. There was nothing like judiciary as an arm of government before the coming of the Europeans. Our others in those days in Yoruba land were the ones that had the three powers to themselves. They were the chief lawmaker, the head of the executive arm, and even judiciary. But the coming of the Europeans brought about separation of powers. So it introduced common legal system. The legal system we are using today in Nigeria is the replica of what we have in Britain. And the same way, the legal system they use in French countries in West Africa is the repl replica of what they have in France up till today. So it is an advantage for us. Then, number nine, exposure to Western education. Colonialism brought about the exposure of Western education in West Africa. Before they came, it wasn't that people didn't have a way of educating themselves, but it was informal, informal way of passing information. But when the Columbia masters came, education was introduced in which we are able to read and write. So colonialism introduced education to all the colonies in West Africa. Then number 10, development of modern transport and communication system. In those days, before they came, we made use of footpaths, moving from one place to another on foot. But the introduction of colonialism brought about construction of roads, rail, railways, seaports, airports, and the rest that made that make transportation easier to go by. Then communication gadgets were also introduced to make communication very easy. So those are some of the advantages or positive impact of colonialism in West Africa. We continue on negative impact in next class. <laughs>